Shalom, kings and queens. Shalom. Uh, this is the third part to my uh, video uh, titled The Rundown. Like I said, I'm just giving short but detailed information on uh, the rundown on titles and things. That's important that uh, we should have understanding or uh, at least be knowledgeable about. And a lot of this stuff is really uh, old knowledge, but a lot of our people don't have it, don't have the understanding, so we still have to give these things and try to give understanding on these things now. Um, so I covered a lot of things, uh, a few things, I mean, excuse me, on the first video, on the second video. Uh, this is the third video, like I say. I'm going to go into a little bit about uh, missing people, um, kids coming up missing, things of that nature, church and religion. So with the missing people thing, uh, you got to think uh, child sacrifice and child uh, kids missing is something that's very big and something that goes on. You need to look into it and get understanding. Uh, Moloch is a, a lesser God that requires child sacrifice. You can read about Moloch in the Bible. You can look up, uh, look up, we'll see what this is. This is the same guy that, uh, if I'm not mistaken, Abraham, father to you, and all of them was, uh, were uh, sacrificing under. Because uh, even Abraham's father, Tira, was an idolater. <coughs> Excuse me. He was an idolater. So he was worshiping idolatry. <coughs> but I, but the worship of idolatry is fallen deities or deities, you pronounce it. Uh, the most I don't deal with uh, idolatry. Any engraving images and things of that nature. That's the law, Exodus 20 and 4. Um, but look it up. So Moloch is the lesser God that requires child sacrifice. Uh, who you think was funding all those milk cartons with all those missing kids on them? You know, you had to start looking into things and stop scratching the surface. You know, look into them and get understanding. You know what I'm saying? So you can understand what's going on. Uh, uh, they do a lot of child sacrificing in this world. Um, Halloween is supposed to be around the time, you know, uh, in October. Leading up to like the beginning of November, it's a time where they say that, uh, you know, portals and all things like this are open throughout the world, you know what I'm saying, throughout the earth, excuse me, you know what I'm saying, uh, and this is when they come in contact with spirits and a lot of demons, and this is a time of the year where the most child sacrifice and kids come up missing around the time of Halloween up to like the beginning of November. This is fact, so you can look into it, do your research, look into Pizzagate. Pizzagate is a, a operation that's used like to order how you will order a regular pizza. You call in, and the way you order your pizza is the way that you are uh, is the way that you're uh, telling them. You know, what I'm saying what type of child you want, and it's called Pizzagate. So you can look into that as well. But that's something that's going on as well. So it's a lot of things like I said that's going on with our kids in this world that we're not knowledgeable of that we need to wake up and get some understanding on because it's very important. If we don't look out for our kids or worry about them, then who else will? Now, when it comes to church, the reason we're in the condition we're in now as far as when it comes to church is because nobody has the understanding. Nobody received it. Nobody is getting it. Why? Because when you go to church, you're never going to get it. A pastor is never going to stand up there and tell you the truth concerning who you are, who God is, and who Christ is. They're not going to tell you that you're not supposed to be in there worshiping up on Sunday. They're not going to tell you that. They're not going to tell you that Saturday, Friday sundown, Saturday sundown is the Sabbath. They're not going to tell you it's not Sunday. They're not going to tell you that Sunday is not the seventh day of the week. It's the first day of the week. So there's a lot of confusion going on in the earth right now. The scriptures tell you that in the last days, knowledge will increase. People will be running to and fro with no understanding. So that means people dibbling down in all these different religions and things of that nature and, and don't know what's true, don't know what's false. Running to and fro with no understanding. You know what I'm saying? That knowledge will increase to tell you that scripture in the last days. So... People not receiving the truth. People don't want to receive it. People are being blinded by their ignorance. People are stuck in the matrix. You know what I'm saying? People are worldly. We don't seek knowledge. I keep telling you, I tell you in scripture that Jacob seek a, a sign. Esau seek of a wisdom. We don't seek after knowledge and wisdom. We don't look up to people in this world that have knowledge and wisdom and understanding. That can give us the keys to unlock us from our mental prison. We look at entertainers and... People that we call celebrities and stars and things of that nature, but don't even know why we call them stars. 
So we have to wake up and get this understanding. I understand that a church is under a government contract, which is called a 501c3. That means that they're on a government contract, they don't pay no taxes, and they have a doctrine. A doctrine is what they have to teach you to keep us asleep. They're not going to teach you the truth. If they was teaching the truth, like I just said, they would tell you that Sunday is not even the seventh day of the week. It's the first day. So why do they keep letting you come in there on church every Sunday and worship the Most High like that's the day he told you to come in there? You can't find nowhere in the Bible where it says worship him on Sunday. You can't find nowhere in the Bible where it says worship him on any day. But it does say worship him on the Sabbath. Exodus 20 and 8 does say keep the Sabbath holy. When is the Sabbath? That's up to you to find that out. It's Friday sundown to Saturday sundown, not Sunday. So that's a different story, but religion is just a Greek word that comes from religio, which means restraint, hold, back, and divide. That's all religion means. It's a Greek word. Religio, it comes from a Greek word called religio. Excuse me. It stands for restraint, hold, back, and divide. So when you think about religion, isn't that exactly what it's doing to our people? Restraining us, holding us back, dividing us. Because actually it's crazy. Religion actually shows you how to separate yourself from God. So why would you follow a, a religion that shows you how to separate yourself from God and Christ. Does that make sense? That's why I tell you Hosea 4 and uh, 1, you know what I'm saying? There's no knowledge of God in this land. You know what I'm saying? The truth is not here. That's why you know a lot of these things that I'm talking about now. A lot of people don't even have to understand because the truth is not here. It's not being perpetuated in the earth. We uh we we uh this world is a big illusion. We, it's been it's been uh we've been raised on lies. Everything is a lie. Nothing is real here. You understand? So when you think about that, you think about Hosea 4 and 6 when it says our people are perished and destroyed for the lack of knowledge. It's true. You know what I'm saying? We judge people who bring us understanding. But see, I just seek the truth. I don't care who tell it. Stop judging the person who's giving you the message and understand this. Did you get the message? See, I tell you in scripture that we're in the time, you know, when your eyes shall see your teachers. Like Romans 10 and 13 tell you, how else can you be taught if you don't send a teacher? For those who like to claim I'm not following a man or listening to what no man saying, that's fine. But guess what? Last time I checked, Christ and the Most High God are men. So how are you going to say you're not going to follow a man? Sometimes he had to bring a man to you or the person lowest to you who you think don't have the understanding so that you can get the understanding so you know that it's God working through them. You see how he works? So understand that. Wake up and follow me. I got another video coming. I'm going to go into a little more detail, and I'm going to give you the rundown and sum everything up for you so you can get this understanding. This is the rundown. I have a ch chapter excuse me, in my book titled The Rundown. My book is called The Knowledge of the Truth. These are just promo videos. Follow me. Shalom.